Hello everyone, my name is Juan Hermosillo and welcome to another episode of Pizza Theater. On this episode of Pizza Theater is a unique one because here you are going to learn on how to make pizza spinning dough, okay? Okay, it's very simple. Uh, all you need to know is uh, what makes uh, pizza dough uh, strong, okay? What type of flour makes uh, pizza dough strong. In this case it's high gluten flour, okay? So you're gonna look on uh, on, on, on the market or with your pro, uh, provider uh, high gluten flour or high protein flour. Usually a high protein flour it starts in about uh, 12% of every 100 grams of flour, okay? So this one it has about 13 points 13.6 percent of uh, protein in the flour it's very strong okay and what makes uh, gluten so special okay uh, gluten are the strands that when you uh, add water they hold the, uh, the dough together or your bread whatever you know and and you have to know how to activate that gluten so we get very uh, hard dough and very elastic okay uh, one of the things that helps uh, toughening or strengthening the uh, the gluten is salt. So uh, we're gonna add a little bit of extra salt and mix a lot because every time you more the more you mix the dough, the more you activate the gluten and the more those uh, strands get together. Okay, and they the more you mix, the, the more they close and the more they hold the dough. So mixing and salt are the most important thing to make. Uh, uh, dough for pizza spinning. Uh, there's really no secret or anything. It's just the uh, the uh, high gluten or high protein flour and the salt and the time of mixing. Uh, this time I'm gonna make it by hand. Uh, it's gonna make it much more easier for you guys to make it by hand. This way you're gonna exercise your arms, your wrists, your forearms. You don't get very buff on this episode. So let's get started. Here I have about. Uh, one kilo of flour which is about 1,000 grams okay uh, and for every uh, a hundred percent uh, of flour that we use it doesn't matter how much it is uh, we have a percentage for every a hundred percent of flour that we use we are going to use four percent of salt and we're going to use about 50 percent of water okay we're not gonna go beyond 50 percent sometimes we might need a little bit more but we're gonna go around 45 percent or 50 percent maybe it depends uh, also because uh, we don't know uh, exactly how much water we need it's because high protein flour absorbs a lot of water it's not like regular flour like low protein flours that you know they don't absorb the water very well and high protein flour it does so we are never sure about how much water we use, but we are in between this percentage of 45 and 50% of water, okay? And also it depends a lot on how do you like the dough. Maybe you like it very tough, maybe you like it a little bit soft. Me, I'm the type of guy that like it medium, medium soft. So I use about, you know, 50% of water. Uh, okay, so remember, for every 100%, of flour that you use, it doesn't matter what it is, one pound, two pounds, two kilos, three kilos, we are going to use four percent of that, a hundred percent of flour, we're going to use four percent of salt, of that weight of that flour, of that a hundred percent, and from 45 to 50 percent of water, okay? So, let's start mixing. Uh, so I don't want to make a big mess on the table, I'm going to get a uh, something like this a pot that it's big enough so I can uh, mix my ingredients here so I'm gonna grab the flour dump it here make sure I don't make a big mess more than what I'm about to make okay here so this is one kilo this is about um, uh, 1,000 grams so for 1,000 grams uh, the four percent of that is uh, forty percent grams of salt that I'm going to use. So I'm going to dump the salt in here, mix it, make sure I mix it very well in here. Okay. 
okay? And this 50% uh, of water uh, from that 1,000 uh, grams, it's 50%, uh, it's almost about a half a liter, so it's very easy to, uh, you know, like if you're doing per kilo, let's say that uh, for every kilo you're going to use a uh, half a liter of water. So, okay, my salt is mixed, so I dump the water. I'm not going to put anything, I'm only with this much, and then I'm going to start mixing in here. Okay, since I don't have the power of a, uh, of a mixer, of a mixing machine, uh, that's how I'm going to build strength. But what I'm going to try to do, do it by hand, is activate that gluten. Okay, remember the salt gives it more strength to the gluten strats. You know, it's like a web that forms, and the more you mix, the, uh, the stronger it gets, and you're not going to see those holes, so it's going to get more and more and more and more tight that uh, that web of, uh, of gluten, the strats. Okay? So if you have a, 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 a mixer, if you're doing this in a mixer, you shouldn't have that much of a problem mixing it. Uh, and mixing it is very important because you activate the, uh, the gluten, you make it more, uh, you bind it more together. So after your dough it's been all mixed together with the water, leave it mixing in your, in your machine like for about 15-20 minutes. You can even do it, do it longer and the longer you do it, the more stronger it's going to get. But um, make sure, the, the best machines that work to make a uh, pizza dough for spinning are the ones with a spiral with a little hook. Those machines get uh, the gluten, uh, the gluten strap uh, together. They it, it holds it very well. Okay, so now that my dough it's almost all together, I'm gonna get it out of the pot, and now I'm gonna start mixing by hand. Some people would say that you use cold water for uh, for the uh, for the dough. I've tried it many times to use ice water and just regular water, and the water doesn't really uh, make a difference. What makes a difference is uh, the mixing, the time you mix the dough after it's been together. If you see it like this, that it crumbles, it doesn't mean that it needs more water. It just means that you need to mix it more and need uh, more power to it. Then I'm just going to use a little bit of water so I can get all this uh, dough stuck together. So I'm just going to grab all of this. Put it here and I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of water. That's how much I want. I still have some leftover, so I think with this it'll be enough to get really strong though for spinning. I left about here about about 3%. So I'm using about 47% of the water, of the weight of the, uh, the flour, so this would be enough, it's just pretty good, pretty tough. And because it's very tough dough, uh, and I'm doing it by hand, I don't have the power of a mixer, I'm going to leave it here, sitting down for about 5 minutes, cover with a flan on my bag. Power my dough and go get a drink of water. Be right back. See, the, the, the gluten strats are not um, uh, holding very tough right now because uh, it needs more time mixing 
it's uh, my hands are not that powerful as a mixer but still works it makes pretty tough dough still like this doing doing by hand actually uh, a dough made by hand yeah uh, uh, every time you you throw a, a, a a dough ball like this it should last for about a minute you can do many tricks with it so that's when you know you have very good uh, throwing dough even if it's by hand uh, you still can get a good minute out of this one and if you do it in, in the machine mixing it you're gonna get two three minutes out of it even more so now that my dough is ready uh, I'm just gonna weigh it I'm gonna cut it and weigh it And you know, kneading is very important too. How you do it? Make sure you uh, you knead the the, the dough. Uh, make it very, 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 very tight, because that's how you work again uh, the gluten. How that's how you make the uh, the strats again very strong again. So you want to go many times inside as you can. Just work it. Work it. And then again, it just it depends uh, how tough you like your dough. Remember not to use over 50% of water because that's going to make your dough. Um, now, when it gets really warm, uh, your dough is going to get. Uh, it's not gonna be as tough as when you use less water. We have uh, we have had some problems in the past with uh, with the dough just staying outside for more than five minutes. Getting it uh, after it's been outside for about ten minutes, it gets really big, and it is because it has more than fifty percent of water, and in and because it hasn't been uh, mixed enough time in the mixer so that's one of the problems usually will happen with the pizza spinners but this is guaranteed it'll work that it'll stay tough for, for a while outside for more than five minutes so this is it for today this is how you make a uh, dough for pizza throwing uh, remember for every 100% uh, of flour that you use you're gonna use 4% of that uh, percentage of flour that you're using and 50% uh, of water of the weight of flour you're using. So see you guys next week and don't forget to watch Pizza TV, log on pmq.com and use Pizza TV. See you guys next time.